only times we think about bees is when we enjoy the sweet syrup food that they provide us with. We enjoy honey as a bread spread, a sugar substitute in a lemonade, and in various other numerous ways. But what if we told you that bees are not just good for honey making only, that they play a key role in crop production, that our very own nutrition and food security highly depends on bees? Bees ensure the fertilization of flowers, which actually develop into produce. It could be grain, it could be vegetables, it could be, it could be fruits. All those are uh, fertilized by bees. So for crops that require uh, cross-pollination, then you must have bees. And so it is our responsibility to make sure that we promote and ensure, ensure that uh, bee populations are adequate on farmers' fields. Bees are among the hardest working creatures on the planet, providing important ecosystem service of ensuring pollination and thus reproduction of many cultivated and wild plants, which is crucial for food production, human livelihoods and biodiversity conservation. Unfortunately, bees and other pollinators are declining in abundance in many parts of the world. Changes in land use, intensive agricultural practices, over reliance on synthetic pesticides, increase in temperatures and other extreme weather events and some of the causative factors. Globally, in the context of uh, climate change, uh, I think it's been agreed that uh, mankind has played some role uh, that has led us to where we are. And uh, there are discussions about reversing this enhancing our tree cover or reforestation um, may bring back, maybe even improve what we are supposed to have. As a countermeasure to mitigate these adverse effects, the National Research Fund NRF has funded research on a technology that could correct this. Established in 2013 under Science, Technology and Innovation Act, the organization has the mandate to mobilize, allocate and manage financial resources to facilitate an effective national innovation system in all fields of science and technology for the growing economy. This particular project on uh, biovector technology uh, was categorized under the food security and it merited funding given that the outcome of the peer review process indicated that uh, the prospect of this uh, project being used in the agricultural sector were quite high and therefore we funded it to a tune of about 10 million Kenyan shillings. As we have seen from the outcome is that uh, it has proved to be uh, one of the most economical and safe uh, technology to be used and taken up by uh, the farmers, given that its applicability is uh, quite uh, easy and again the benefits of it are quite enormous as compared to the conventional uh, methods of disease control that have been used from time to time. Agriculture being the backbone of Kenya's economy, such research helps tackle socioeconomic issues which plague the food production chain. The biological control of uh, disease uh, causing vectors and the fungal diseases that affect crops is very important because it can be effective while keeping the products, the foods that come from that farm, very safe for human consumption. As we well know, the synthetic uh, control has its remains which unfortunately affect human life and to some extent also cause other diseases and affect the human body. Control of pests and diseases in food production is very important in improving the yield to take care of food security for our people. And therefore, increased yield means more food for people, more healthy people, because chemicals will not have been used, but uh, biological methods will have been used to control the disease-causing vectors, and that is for a healthy nation. With the financial backing of National Research Fund, Professor Mary Gikungu, an entomologist and pollination ecologist, has introduced a bee vectoring technology which utilizes naturally occurring pathogens 
to control crop diseases in ecologically safer way. This project, which we are calling the vectoring technology for uh, using improved bees for improved agricultural productivity and environmental health, was prompted by the challenges that we have in our agricultural production. One of the big challenges that we have faced as a country is that there is intensive use of um, synthetic pesticides or agrochemicals. The farmers have no alternatives but to turn to the synthetic or inorganic pesticides because over time many researchers have not looked for solutions that can help the farmers. And we felt as a team that is comprised of experts from different institutions, we can provide a solution through biovectoring technology, which now supports our organic um, farming. Because in this technology, there is no use of chemicals, and we use organisms to transfer the biocontrol agents, the agents that can help to control the pests and the diseases that are affecting our crops. So in this particular case, we felt the best uh, group of organisms to use, and it is being applied in other countries of the world, are the managed bees. The research commenced in 2018 and has been conducted on sunflower plant in Kirinyaga County in a voluntary partnership with local farmers in target areas. The farmers seed a portion of the land for their trials and in turn, they are trained on management of plots and beehives. The research project has also been engaging university students from Chuka and Technical University on a daily basis to collect data from the experimental plots. The technology utilizes the Langstroth hives used in the modern commercial beekeeping. We have special hives and uh, we are using the ordinary Langstroth hive with two openings. And in the lower entrance, on the lower opening, that is where we put the inoculum or the biocontrol agent. So when the bees are exiting, they are able to swim through the inoculum and as they come back to the hive, they come back having groomed and they do not take the inoculum back to the, to the colony. So this technology is very simple. It has double rows on crop. It controls the diseases, it controls the pest, depending on the target disease or the target pest one is working on. I'm here to collect bees that are coming from the hive to the sunflower as our target crop. So we want to see whether these bees which are coming from the hives are able to carry that biocontrol agent to the target crop. So I'll be capturing some sample of bees which I'll put in these uh, vials using this sweep net and put them in the vials and then take them to Chiromo Microbiology Lab where we'll do some culture and see for sure that uh, they are able to carry the biocontrol agent. Then apart from these bees just carrying the biocontrol agent, we would also want to see whether they are depositing it on the target crop. And uh, sunflower being our target crop, I'm going to do a random collection of florets. Same case, I'll take them to the lab and also test whether this biocontrol agent has been deposited on our target crop. So that at the end of the day, with the help of our data collectors here, we'll be able to see, is there any decrease in diseases that we are targeting? So far, the technology is successful. The results that we have come out with for the rounds that we have had of the experiment are so encouraging and we are confident that this is a very practical and successful technology. We isolated our own fungus and made our own uh, inoculum that we have used in this uh, successful experiments. And this technology cannot only be applied in, um, in sunflower because trichoderma is a mycoparasite of many uh, fungal pathogens and so we can also extend and apply it in other crops. To better compare and verify findings of the research, the researcher has combined two experimental models on the integrated pest and disease control research. These experimental treatments included farms with introduced managed bees only and e-control plots of farm practice. In this practice, the farmer will also manage and benefit from the bee products. Nyuki bando inatipatia faida kwa mimea hii ingine tunapandanga kama nyanya inafanya pollination kahawa 
Meron, hata maharagwe, unakuta maharagwe zako umevuna kitu mzuri. Ukivuna mimea yako, unakuja unatoa asali na unapata faida ya asali. Ni faida marambidi. Kuna faida ya mimea kutengenezo na nyuki, ikiwa na ndawa, ambando kuna faida ya nyuki na kupatia asali. After the validation or the trials that we are undertaking, we are looking at how can the country utilize this technology. We can only do it by upscaling it and increasing the awareness. And um, in our next experiment, we would want to do it in various parts of Kenya so that more people are capacity built on the technology, more people are able to test the technology and see the outcome so that at the end of the research that we are doing, anybody can do this particular practice without challenges.